All right, to say that I am excited about this new Treadwell by Nordic Track, I feel like does not do it justice. This is a brand new model. They've actually started discontinuing some of their older models, which kind of makes me sad because Nordic Track 1750 was the first video I ever have done. I've reviewed almost every Nordic Track treadmill, and so it is time to part ways with a lot of them. However, this X24 by Nordic Track honestly holds its own. It might be better. It might be the best Nordic Track treadmill in terms of incline and a couple other features that Nordic Track has gone ahead and brought in. So stick around for the full video. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And also, if you want to go ahead and purchase this after you've heard all of the beautiful details about this X24i, we've placed a link below the like button for you to go ahead and use. This was sent to us by the company, but as always, this is a transparent review and I am as honest as I can be. And I will tell you all the things I like and I don't like. So let's get into the details of the X24i by Nora Track. Now, obviously looking at this treadmill, I think we can all agree this is not gonna be a cheaper treadmill. This treadmill is $3,999. I mean, let's just call it $4,000. That is an expensive treadmill. Now, why such a high price point? There is financing available on the website. I think sometimes people call me out and say like, how dare you mention financing options? The truth is like, sometimes people need financing options. So I'm going to tell you about it if it's available. There is financing available on this. And again, $4,000, like sometimes we need that. With this treadmill, it goes from a negative 6% decline all the way to a 40% incline. That is a massive incline. There are only a couple other treadmills that we have reviewed that go that high. And honestly, when I am using it, you definitely have to hold on to the handlebars. The handlebars are a little slippery. I don't necessarily find them to be my favorite handlebars that I've used, but they do add a lot of security, especially while you're using that four. 40% incline. One thing I want to mention really quick before I forget about it, when we went ahead and turned this on initially, the only way to adjust the incline or the speed was to push the buttons not on the screen, but on the rail. It basically went up in 0.5 increments on the incline with a loud beep, beep, beep sound. There is no sort of option on the screen for us to just push up to 40% incline. So we went ahead, Nathan actually figured it out because he's very uh -huh. smart and did a software update. So if you do run into that problem, just make sure that all of your software is updated because once we did that, it fixed the problem and you are easily able to adjust both the speed and the incline off of the screen. Speaking of the screen, this is a 24 inch touch screen and it also swivels really nicely. Now I was just talking to Cordy who I compared it to the Echelon treadmill because the Echelon treadmill screens just don't stay in place. Like I have tried so many Echelon treadmills, the screen just does not stay in place and it shakes a lot while you're using it. That is not the case with this X24i. This is very sturdy. And even at top speeds, even at a top incline, I mean, that screen is going to stay in place. So I'm sure we have all experienced treadmills where it almost became like motion sickness as you were looking at this jostling screen ahead of you, especially when it's so big and it's like right in front of your face. I did not experience that with the X24. Now this treadmill is, I'm assuming, based off their old X22i model. It has a lot of similar features. One thing that I do think it's improved upon is the speaker and then the speaker quality. So it actually has a speaker bar at the bottom of the screen and it comes through so loud. Like you can honestly hear the instructor, you can hear the music very clearly through the speakers and I didn't even have the speakers turn all the way up. So that is great because it's loud where it needs to be loud and then it's quiet where it needs to be quiet. When I initially jumped on this treadmill, that was something I noticed right away was how quiet it was. Not only how quiet it is, the incline is quiet while you are running it is more quiet. It is actually very comfortable. So it's not the most cushioned deck that I have experienced, but I would say that it is really decent. So if you are looking for something that's middle range in terms of belt cushioning, I think that this is a really good option. The size on the belt deck is 22 by 60 inches. It actually seems smaller when I initially saw it, but it's not, it's 22 by 60 inches, which is one of the largest belt decks that we see, especially when it comes to home gym treadmills. There are cup holders located on the sides of the screen. Now, one complaint that I had about the old X22i was that there wasn't an easy way to get behind the screen in order to really utilize the cup holders. 
they've definitely changed that. The screen still blocks it a little bit, but definitely not as much. With this treadmill, it uses iFit programming, and then along with the iFit programming, it has Smart Adjust. So essentially, that means when you are taking a class, then the instructor is going to tell your treadmill essentially the speed, the incline, like how fast to go, at what point. And so it really takes all of the guesswork out of any sort of programming. Now, a lot of people love this. There are some that don't. So if you don't love that, you can turn it off or you can go ahead and just do a manual program yourself. It also comes with active pulse technology. When you hook up a heart rate monitor through Bluetooth, you can go ahead and set what heart rate zone you want. And so when it starts reading that maybe you are past that zone two, if you're trying to stay in zone two, it's going to slow down your pace and read your heart rate until you get back to that heart rate zone that you are looking for. Now, something I noticed about this treadmill that I don't see a lot of other companies offer, but there is a lifetime warranty on this motor, which is insane. Like that is actually really, really good. And this motor is bigger than a lot of other treadmills that we have seen. This actually comes with a 4.25 CHP motor, allowing you to go all the way from zero miles per hour to a 12 mile per hour mark. So if you are wanting to run those five minute miles, this is the treadmill that can absolutely do it and then also handle it even a five minute mile at a 40 percent incline like if you could do that that's insane now keep in mind you can see behind me this is a large treadmill okay and it definitely is heavy it does have wheels on the front although there is no sort of handlebars on the back making it easy to move around really you have to rely on grip strength and a deadlift strength in order to move this this is something that i would recommend finding a spot in your home in your garage and then leaving it there because this is just not easy to move. This treadmill also, I mean, it is kind of like packed with smart technology. It comes with auto breeze fan. So as your workout picks up, the fan intensity picks up as well. Now, I mean, the fan intensity on a treadmill, it's not anything to write home about, but at least it recognizes that like, as you get going, especially if your heart rate connected, like it's all going to read into that and then be able to help control again, like your heart rate, or then also how much air is going out of that fan depending on how hard you are working. The step up height on this is 13.66 inches high. That is actually pretty high for a treadmill. We like to call that out because there are a lot of people who might struggle with mobility or maybe some balancing. If that is you, know that this is a pretty tall step up height. It's honestly something I noticed initially because a lot of treadmills we see are maybe in like a seven to eight inch step up height. Now in the box, this weighs 445 pounds. So again, like, it is a heavy treadmill. It didn't give me the specifications on exactly how much it weighs outside of the box, but it's definitely over 400 pounds, so just be aware of that. And then it also comes with a user weight capacity of 400 pounds, which is great. We see a lot of treadmills, especially, I mean, I'd expect nothing less of something that is like durable, heavy built, big motor with this treadmill to have anything less than a 400 pound weight capacity, but I just love that a lot of people can use this treadmill. When you use the iFit programming, it's gonna come with 10,000 workout classes. Whether they are inside, whether they are outside, you have treadmill classes, you have HIIT classes, yoga classes, strength classes. This is probably one of the largest databases of workouts in any sort of programming that I have ever seen. Now, don't quote me on that. I haven't looked up every single program out there, but for sure, this is one of the largest libraries available. Now, something that I do think that is really great and something that we get asked a lot is, does the Nordic Track have streaming capabilities? And so far, the answer has been no. However, with this treadmill, it does. So if you wanna watch Netflix or Prime Video or other apps available, you can download them to your screen and then go ahead and watch them. Now, while I was taking the class, I went ahead and took a Haunted in the Bayou series class. It's a walking class. And it was honestly so cool. It's kind of their featured series. We are shooting this in October, which is spooky month. And it really was cool. So if you get this treadmill or if you have the iFit programming, if you like spookiness, I say go ahead, take that walking series. Let me know what you think because I found it to be incredibly fun. Another cool feature that is included with this is you can go ahead and create custom maps on Google Maps for your workouts. 
which is something, again, a lot of other programmings don't offer. I think that this treadmill by itself is really great. I mean, it's quiet, it's smooth, it has a large cushion deck, it goes from 6% decline to 40% incline, it has a large screen, but I think that the iFit programming just keeps getting better and better. And I mean, I've used a lot of programming, so not everybody wants programming on their treadmill, but if you are somebody that does, I think that iFit is one of the best out there. And again, they keep improving. For the iFit, programming it's going to cost $396 for a year and it can go ahead and use up to five user profiles and they do have two or three year options obviously the cost is going to go up beyond that really I am genuinely so excited about this treadmill and that takes a lot okay I see a lot of treadmills I'm not just psyched about every treadmill that I get to test out and review I think this one is actually really good. Given its price point, that does take it down a couple notches just because again, like that almost $4,000 mark is so expensive for a treadmill. However, do I think that some of it justifies this cost? Maybe so. Let me know in the comments what you think about this X24i by Nordic Track, and do you think it's worth that $4,000 price tag? Let us know. This has been Lindsay with Garage Reviews.